rapid changes in downtown Topeka's skyline are drawing in talent from all over the world. KSNT News reporter Kelly Saberi looks into a new local business that's bringing people to the city. When Cyrus K. Holiday moved to Topeka after traveling all across the Midwest, he wrote letters to his wife urging her to move here. This one from 1855 read, I am prepared to say that Kansas exceeds them all in point of true excellence. Now, 164 years later, a hotel has opened in his name, and it's bringing employees from around the world to Topeka. There's building going on. There's a lot of people walking around. The restaurants are full. Now, these employees are writing home. Jeffrey Pavone is from Niagara Falls, Ontario, and works as the hotel's general manager. He moved from Florida to Topeka last year. I live in one of the lofts downtown over by the Jayhawk Theater. There's a lot of artists and a lot of cool individuals that, uh, that, that live in that area. And you can walk everywhere. Um, it used to take me a 30, 40 minute commute to work every day, and I can actually essentially walk to work. He's not the only one who feels like Topeka has a cosmopolitan city feel. Well, I've lived in big cities. This is kind of a little mini city. There's everything to do here. Raymond Alexander is the director of food and beverage. He's from South Africa. I go home and have comfort food, you know, and, that, and that's what we really crave for is just that down to earth comfort, feel good kind of food. And that's, that's what I love about. Topeka, you find those little places that make you feel like you're just back at home. He's worked around the U.S. in the hotel business, but says Topeka feels like home. A new place bringing new life and new people to Topeka. People come in and point out the things that remind them of growing up here, like these lights behind me. They resemble those on the bridge that go over the river along northwest Topeka Boulevard. In Topeka, Kelly Saberi, KSNT News.